In stage 57, we're going to be wiring Robbie's scarf and body. And for this, you're going to need the CPU board, the protective pants, the servo horn from stage 56, the scarf assembly from stage 56, and both Robbie's body halves. Okay, and first of all, take the scarf and take the switch, noting which way the switch goes down. Place that into position as shown in your instructions and like so and then using two of the 4.7 millimeter M2 screws, screw that down into position. Once you've done that, take the assembly with the speaker on and then take the neck scarf and feed all the cables that are hanging down through this section here in the top of the servo mount, if you can just see that. And then we're gonna connect Robbie's scarf to the top Now, once you've done that and you've got the scarf sitting on there, we need to then secure that. So move the head unit so that we get the holes through the top lining up. Now it's quite difficult to see. And then take one of the eight millimeter countersunk screws, passing that down. inside and then carefully secure that once again do not over tighten okay and then moving the neck around do exactly the same to the second hole once again Taking one of the 8mm camp sunk screws, placing that down and securing that. But once again, do not over tighten. Okay. Next, carefully remove the CPU board from its holder and then you then need to connect the CPU board up to the other side, like so, making sure that we've got this in the right position, as you can see. So take the two screws that were removed from the test, place those down, and then carefully secure that into position. Next, take the cable from the servo and then place that into the middle connector. Like so.
Next, take the left body panel and locate the servo cable leading from the left shoulder servo. Now, this is the one that is fitted through the hole in the speaker support. Okay, so once you've done that, get that and then place that into position two towards the end of the board. Okay, and then once you've done that, carefully follow the rest of your instructions and connect up the rest of your cables. Okay. Now once you've done that, carefully make sure that all the cables, as per your instructions, are out of the way, fed through, and then connect the two halves together, placing the two screws down the centre as shown. Next, take the servo horn and also take the neck plate and just notice that you have a countersunk side and that's the side that you need to put the screw through. So tighten that down, but do not over tighten it because this needs to move like so. Now, once you've done that, take your servo horn and your assembly, okay? And then placing that down so it's facing in that direction, place that over top of the servo so that the connector plate goes into the top of the scarf. So you can see that. And then once you've done that, that completes this stage. 